Would you like to use Cube LUTs with OBS? Did you even know that was an option? Let's jump in. Arthur here, welcome to Cantankerous Tech. Today we're gonna jump into the wild, wild world of LUTs, Cube LUTs in OBS. What is a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table. It's basically like some rules that your video software looks at to understand how to handle the different types of color. Now, there are different formats of LUTs. There are cube LUTs, there are hauled LUTs. There's a bunch of different ones. It actually, it gets kind of confusing. And there's a little bit of, I don't know, a lack of organization on these different types of LUTs. But um, one of the most common types is the cube LUT. And fresh LUTs have a bunch of Creative Commons Zero LUTs including celluloid, which is uh, beautiful. It's a great LUT. Here's what the, the flat image profile looks like. And it just really pulls out those colors. The trade-off here is that OBS does not use that kind of LUT. They actually use, I believe this is called a hauled LUT. Now, if you have OBS installed on your machine, somewhere on your machine is this PNG, but to make things easier for you, I will have the link down below so you can grab it again. And we're going to apply the celluloid cube LUT to this image so that we can ingest this LUT into OBS. See, see how it is? It's like this is a data LUT and this is color information LUT, but it's almost like a one to one if you know what you're doing. I kind of wish everything was using the JP uh, the PNG LUT because that'd be great, but this is a good low workaround. So what tools do we need? Well, obviously you need OBS, which I'm using to record this video of me. And you need um, the cube file and the LUT, and um, you need a video editor. I'm going to use Caden Live for this particular project. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our PNG file and drop it over here. If your import settings are default, it's going to ask you if you want to change your timeline to match, which it's a 512 by 512 image. Yeah, so switch. That's a very important part of this. That makes the whole thing a lot easier. Now we're gonna go to effects. No, not effects. We wanna go to color and we want to type in LUT. And we're gonna drop in. You need, really need to drag the video to the timeline and then you can apply a LUT to the timeline. Make this a little bigger. Try and make it small so it doesn't get in the way of the view, but yeah, here we are. Boom. Now, if you see, it instantly changed because I have my software set up so it automatically adds that default LUT. That's basically it. But if it's not already adding it, you can go in here and you can go find your cube LUT and apply. Now here's the nearest trailer tetrahata. I don't know what these mean, but the best quality ones are at the bottom. The te tetra, tetra, whatever it is. That's the best quality one. You apply that and then you're probably thinking, okay, cool. I don't want this as a video file. This needs to be a PNG, right? Right click extract frame and then you can take it up here and type save that png file to your wherever and there's the modified and the original LUT. i'm using a two pieces of software to capture my screen right now because i need ffmpeg to grab this so you can see me doing things but obs will normally record just what it's doing so bear with me bear with me so here, here we are in OBS and we have our neutral and our modified LUT. So we go over here to the camera. We want to click on the filter tab and we want to apply LUT, boom. Browse for said untitled LUT. Look at that. You can change how much is on there, you know, versus the original. Sometimes these LUTs are designed for super flat profiles. So to get it to right where you need it, you just need just just need a little extra. Just like, mmm. And next thing you know, um, it looks like this. And it looks pretty good. Again, you can uh, grab free LUTs from Fresh LUTs or other places. There's tons of places that make quality cube LUTs. And uh, they work great. Hopefully this was easy to follow. Um, if you like this video, give this thing a thumbs up. If you have any questions or ideas, message me down below. I love that healthy engagement. Here are some Patreon uh, supporters. If you want to be on this 
prestigious little list over here. Links to my Patreon and my Libra Pay down below. If you like this video a lot, I might do a follow up where I show you how to make uh, the PNG LUTs and turn them back into cube LUTs or how to make cube LUTs from scratch. Because, you know, yeah. <laughs>